So you're thinking of moving to the Washington, Utah area. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, the good and the bad of living in Washington, Utah. Make sure you stick around till the end where I'm gonna share one of our favorite places to go as a family. Let's get started. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know all about living in the St. George area, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you're the first to know about what's happening in the St. George area. My name is Shari Harris and I'm with Fathom Realty. We get calls every day from people just like you who are looking to move to the St. George area and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move next week, next month, or next year, go ahead and give us a call, send us a text or an email. We'd love to help you have a smooth move to the St. George area. All my contact information is in the description below. As I mentioned, we're talking about the good and bad, the pros and cons of living in Washington City. First off, Washington City and St. George have a lot in common. In fact, if, as you're driving around, um, often you don't even realize that you've driven across the border to the other city. So if you've checked out my other video about St. George pros and cons, you will see some overlap, but I've made sure to add some very specific things about Washington City. Washington City has a population of about 36,000 people. So as I said, it's growing very quickly. Washington City used to be made up of lots of farmland. In fact, some of the areas where they're building home is referred to as Washington Fields. And so there's some pros and cons to that. It's sad to see some of this beautiful green farmland um, being changed, but at the same time, all of these new homes and businesses that are coming can be quite inspiring, as well as um, on wallethub.com, uh, they recently ranked Washington City as the number one place um, to start up a business um, in the category of small towns. Um, so that was pretty exciting. Um, and we have so many needs that need to be met. So it is a great place if you're an entrepreneur and want to start up your own business. The Washington County Community Center is one of my favorite, and it's actually the biggest um, aquatic center in Southern Utah. They have a great lap pool and kids swimming area, as well as a fitness center, fitness classes, as, and classrooms where they teach crafts and um, a book club and cooking classes. So there's like a variety of things happening there. So it's a great area and every town needs a center like that. A great thing about Washington City is that you're actually never too far away for um, running your errands, going to businesses. Even if you need to go to downtown St. George or to the hospital, they're both like 15 minutes away pretty well wherever you're at in Washington City. Um, and there's a lot of businesses that are in Washington City and in um, St. George. The border between the two is full of businesses. St. George has done slightly better at making sure that the entryway um, has most of the businesses on their side. So they get a lot of the sales tax money. So Washington City is working on getting more and more businesses within their, their boundaries so that they are keeping more of the sales tax money um, within the city. So one of the first times I actually vacationed, um, I stayed in a, a home in Washington City with my family and we had so much fun um, playing at the park, parks, I should say. Um, and going to the community center that I mentioned. And I just remember thinking how beautiful the parks were and how clean and nice they were. And, um, and then there were trails that was connecting everything around the city. And so it was so fun to be able to go for walks, push the kids in a stroller. And, and they've just continued to expand on that. There's always new parks going in and adding onto the trail system and connecting more and more trails. And so it really encourages that outdoor active lifestyle I love seeing all the fields with the kids out playing, um, as well as um, we're so close to national parks, like less than an hour from Zion National Park. And we've got Sand Hollow Reservoir, um, the Gunlock. I mean, just all these fun places to go enjoy the outdoors in the water or jeeping, hiking, biking, um, which also brings about a con. We attract a lot of tourists to the area. And so there can be quite a bit of congestion on the road sometimes, as well as when we have some of our big races, they will block off like roads and you will be kind of trapped in your um, neighborhoods um, or major detours. I guess you're never totally trapped, um, but it does cause a lot of detours. Um, 
but I will say they are really good to let you know in advance what's happening, what roads are gonna be closed so that you can make plans around it and actually just enjoy the excitement of these athletes who are pushing their bodies to, <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing to see what they can accomplish. So, um, so it's great to just, you know, sit back and enjoy it. So all of Washington County is one school district, the Washington County School District. Um, within Washington City, with so much new growth there, we actually have quite a few of the new newer school buildings in that area. Um, Crimson High School is a fairly new building. Um, according to usnews.com, Crimson High School in Washington City is ranked as the number one high school in the St. George metro area. Um, I always recommend going to the schools if possible, taking tours, getting to know the school. Um, personnel um, and even if you can't come here locally to do it, getting some people on the phone and talking to them can really help to get a feel for the school. Um, I do think there are websites online that can give you some information about the schools. My only hesitation with that is from a personal experience where we moved into a neighborhood, um, not here, it was in another place, and the reviews online were horrible for the school that my kids were supposed to go to. So. I was looking into how I could move them into another school um, when I had just the strongest feeling to leave them. And I'm so grateful I did. It was an absolutely amazing um, school. They had a new uh, principal and some new teachers and it was a fantastic year. So I think it's one of those things that sometimes you gotta get to know the people, do some research and trust your gut when looking for a school. And also one thing to know about our schools is you attend the school that you live within the boundaries. So I do have people who are coming here very specific for certain schools. And so we do need to find homes within those boundaries. Um, the only kind of um, thing that um, changes this is if they want to go to a charter school. Um, charter schools are by lottery. And so the, you apply for the school, see if you get in. Um, once your student gets into a school, it helps all the siblings get in, in most cases, sooner. Um, so charter schools, you can live anywhere. You just have to be able to transport your kid to and from school because they don't always have the best bus systems for charter schools. Also, dual immersion. We have schools where your kid can be totally immersed in a second language. We have Portuguese, Spanish, and Chinese. And um, so you need to be living within the boundaries as well as see if they uh, have a waiting list, if they even have room for your child to get in. And so that's another thing to look into if that's something you want for your child. I have one that did the Spanish and is now taking college classes for Spanish. And it's pretty remarkable to hear her going off talking and her, her code language that I don't understand. <laughs> All right, let's talk about crime. Um, so looking at online, um, we come out, usually um, most statistics show us below, especially in violent crimes, below the national average. Um, our property crimes can kind of stays around the national average a little bit. Sometimes we'll go over it a little bit. Um, all I can say is so many people don't lock their, their doors on their cars or their homes. It's kind of like we live in a bubble here, but are learning that it's important to lock your house and your car. Um, I've never had anything directly happen to me um, um, or my loved one's friends here, but I do know that um, property um, theft is a thing. I'm sure it is everywhere. Um, but I feel very safe here and very blessed to be here. Um, I, I sometimes take it for granted because it's a part of my everyday life. Um, but as I bring amazing clients to the area that are looking for something different, they often comment on how clean it is here, the lack of graffiti, um, how nice even the bathrooms are at the parks and um, just this overall safe feeling um, that we just really love here. Okay. I want to touch back on the shopping. Um, we have a lot of the box stores, but um, some people want more. And so Las Vegas is only a couple hours away. So I do know people take weekend trips there to do their shopping. I personally use Amazon for everything. So I don't mind that we don't have some of the bigger stores. Um, Fine dining, I don't think we have the population to totally support that yet. Um, so people do go to Las Vegas for that, but there are more and more people asking for that. So I think that's gonna continue to develop into something better. Um, not to say we don't have good food, but I'm talking like the fine dining, <laughs> the foodie experience. So I could go on and on about Washington City. I definitely think the, the pros outweigh the cons. Um, 
the weather. I didn't talk about the weather. <laughs> That's what actually brings people here. Um, so we have about nine months of the year that are pretty awesome. Um, and then we have hot summers and it's dry heat. Um, so you need to get out there in the morning and enjoy the outdoors then. And then water sports, water activities, um, and good air conditioning is a necessity. But once you get through those few months, the rest of the year is pretty nice. I mean, we're in December right now and I'm in a sweater <laughs> and the sun's going down and it's okay. So um, it really is nice here. Um, you could most years eat your Thanksgiving dinner outside if you wanted to. Um, so uh, the weather brings a lot of people here that just come and live here during the winter and then they leave for the summer. So second homes is a big thing here. Um, as well as vacation rentals and stuff like that. So, all right, here's the, I promised to share one of our favorite uh, places to go as a family, and that is Staley Farms. Um, they do an awesome job during the fall to have um, a corn maze and the field of screams and lots of fun little activities for the kids, ax throwing, like not little kids, teenagers, ax throwing. Um, this big pillow thing you can jump on and a playground and they host events there. So lots of fun on the farm. They have a little petting zoo um, during the fall. Christmas time, they do a live nativity. They have a little drive through lighting thing um, and some little fun kids activities. Um, I saw a picture the other day that they had a class and they were teaching people how to make big old wreaths. So um, they're always expanding and doing more and more fun things there. Um, and when you think of Washington City, you also think of the big hot air balloons. And a lot of those actually take off from Staley Farms um, area. And they do a big um, festival, hot air balloon festival um, that's coming up. And it's just pretty magical to see all these hot air balloons um, in the sky. Um, I was even out showing a home one day really close to Staley Farms, turned into a cul-de-sac. And in the middle of the cul-de-sac was this great big hot air balloon. It quite surprised me, but it was pretty cool to be right there next to it um, and to see him take off in the middle of the cul-de-sac. So um, you'll have to uh, check out Washington City and watch the skies. If you have any questions for me or are ready to get your move started, please don't hesitate to reach out. Like I said, my contact information is below. I'll talk to you soon.